It's time that I'm gonna go on a little trip from the Netherlands to Belgium. And whoop, there we are in Antwerp with it's Antwerp. Antwerp. Is that that's English? Okay. Yes. That's it. How do you, how would you like to pronounce it? I, I don't know. Antwerp. Antwerpen. Antwerpen. <laughs> yes, that's how we say it in Dutch. We're here and we're ready. We're going to actually do something really cool. We're going to go to a taste testing of Wagyu. Wagyu only. So we order a lot of Wagyu meat and one of our suppliers has asked us to join him for a Wagyu tasting oh, I'm session. I'm sorry. So someone is coming from Japan, that's what I'm told, and he's going to serve us Wagyu like it should be served. Not in big steaks probably, <laughs> but in small pieces the way it's supposed to be done. And we got to figure out where it is. Yeah, I think uh, it's, Antwerp is a big Ant city. Ant Antwerp is very big. Or at least we're in the right city. I'm sure of that. Now let's find an entrance. We found it and I'm actually here and it's kind of like an art space, like almost like an artistic space with lots of creative vibes around and then you're thinking like artwork things like that but in reality we're in a cooking studio where chefs cook products on behalf of the producers and then connect them to restaurants so a chef would come in uh, or like a, 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 a certain amount of chefs would come in and then the producer would present their products to the chef and show them what you can do with them now in this case, we're here with a producer of Wacky Meat and he has some extreme things for us. Beautiful Wagyu beef. So we got an eye of round over here, beautiful intramuscular fat, crazy marbling, extreme good looking. And then one of my favorite things, the tri-tip, which we have here. As well, a gorgeous, gorgeous looking piece of meat. And the funny thing is, in Japan, the tri-tip is actually one of the most expensive parts because it's so popular. And now you understand why I'm freaking out about tri-tip. Japanese get it, I get it. Do you get it? It's amazing. And this is the importer. The company is called Anglo Dutchman. Anglo Dutchman. And he brought to us this piece of meat, the beautiful Japanese Ito. And you just explained to me it's like more like a chain, a controlled chain. Yeah, they control the chain, yeah, of course. A controlled chain of creating beautiful Japanese beef with the highest modeling score you can find. 11, 12, yes. 11, 12, some of the most prestigious stuff. And he brings it to the Netherlands. Okay. And this is where it all happens. Of course, there's some butchering work done, but there is where the magic happens. The chef fired up his grill, he put on some binchitan, let it become really, really hot, and now he's cooking that beautiful Ito beef. The first thing that he's cooking is beef off the beef ribs. Without the bones, only the meat. <laughs> the meat and thereby he turned this into like a really really crispy surface and he maximized the crispy surface and at the same time look at this the fat is still dripping out even though this is now has turned back to room temperature but look at right there and the fat is just has been able to move away from the steak has been able to render down and only if you render down the fat the outside becomes crispy if you leave the fat on it's never going to be crispy so this way it gets extra crispy amazing now this meat is going into the fridge and we're moving on to the first plate that we're actually going to be tasting today now the chef chopped up this eye of ran for us and first he went in this little strips which he then started to cut up into cubes and now he's taking us back to the grill 
Next, you put the beef in a pan on the fire. So it's actually warming up the beef because it wants to get it to room temperature. Then he adds wakyu beef khoi, which is gonna make it salty and extremely flavorful. The next step is putting it on a cutting board and chopping it fine again. And this time he's really going in for a super fine grind. Now we're getting to the part where we want to establish the plate. Of course, that's not all the chef is giving us. He's also going to take some caviar and some beautiful caviar, I might say, and he is going to add some ponsu to it. Koji ponsu, in-house made, amazing stuff. Mix it up, then a little gold leaf goes onto that beef. Caviar on top, and now we have a final product ready for tasting. This is the end result of the second dish and basically these are, are the beef ribs without the bone. And the reason that we don't get the bone is because it gets transported from Japan to the Netherlands and um, they're not allowed to get the bones out there. Of course it's for health and safety re reasons so it's a good thing accepted. Now what the chef did is grill it up, you've seen that part. It's nice and crunchy, he sliced it up, put it on the plate and topped it with a beautiful ginger, well actually a fried ginger ponzu, topped with a little bit of rutabaga to make it crunchy, finished off with some lettuce. Now the main thing behind this dish is that ponzu, the ginger fried ginger ponzu, uh, uh, it's made with uh, wild oiso and it's been hand-picked from actual bushes that were growing in the wild. So this is an extreme beautiful dish, which I now get to taste. So that was the evening. Amazing that, taste testing. That was a great evening. <laughs> and I didn't even drink, so oh, this is, this is like Where a- we go? Yeah, it's a sketchy area and a sketchy neighborhood. And um, whoa. Oh. Don't fall. Don't fall. Yes, we're outside. Antwerp is ready for us. Now, it was an amazing day. Um, great evening and really inspiring food-wise. We had another dish afterwards, but it was rice and it was really amazing as well, but it wasn't like a recipe recipe where we have a lot of things to show you. Yeah. But the two out of the three recipes that we had, the second one was my favorite. Definitely, mine as well, yeah. So, um, really, really good, really inspiring, so. We enjoyed it. <laughs> we enjoyed <laughs> it, it a lot. Now we had a cup of coffee and we're going home, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed what just went down in Antwerp. And uh, if you want to see more of this stuff, just let us know. Give us a big thumbs up. And a comment down below. And a comment down below. Until then, eat smakelijk. And keep on grilling. That's right. See you guys.